Bravo set in blue WhatsApp tutorial, setup campaigns, automation, and newsletter. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be exploring Brevo and how you will be able to set up your WhatsApp campaigns and newsletters. So first things first, before you will be able to do the campaigns, automation, and newsletter in WhatsApp, you're first going to integrate and connect your WhatsApp with Brevo. To be able to do that, simply click on campaigns over here on the left side. And over here, you will be able to see different versions or different ways to do campaigns. And you have your email, SMS, and WhatsApp over here as part of those options. So simply select WhatsApp. Now, before you will be able to create a campaign, you would first need to connect your WhatsApp to your Brevo. To be able to do that, simply select Manage Settings over here. As you can see, in my WhatsApp settings, I have no account connected yet. Now, logging in with Facebook to start launching campaigns and analyze phone number quality, you're simply going to need to select Login with Facebook inside of Brevo. Now, as you can see, you have three steps over here. The first step is phone number. You uh, must have a valid and dedicated phone number to use in WhatsApp Business API. You will receive a verification code to authenticate your number on your platform. And the number for your business must be a valid phone number which meets the WhatsApp Business Platform criteria. If you don't know the criteria, let's actually view it right now so that you know what type of number you should be using. So over here, you need a valid new phone number that is not linked to your WhatsApp personal or business app account. So this will allow you or this will allow them to send you a verification app or code. So after that, uh, simply click on continue. And over here, you must have a personal Facebook account link, which is also linked to your business email. So you have a Facebook business account created and log into the system. Then you must authenticate it to do those things. So after that, click on continue. Then you have your business details over here. So simply do the process and you will be able to connect your Bravo with WhatsApp. Now, once you have connected it, you will be able to do multiple things in Brevo. And one of those things is actually creating campaigns. So if you click on create campaigns over here on the top right, you will be able to gain, begin the process. So uh, create a WhatsApp campaign. Reach out to your customers on WhatsApp, which is actually the platform that a lot of people use on their online business and even Facebook business. Even though Facebook has Messenger, a lot of people still prefer WhatsApp due to all of its privacy and all of its other features that you will be able to use. So over here, let's name our campaign. Only we ourselves, the creator of the campaign, will be able to see it. So let's say I have a coffee business. So let's say coffee, WhatsApp, uh, which, something like that. Then click on start. And the next process, as you can see here, you will be choosing uh, from choose which WhatsApp business account you will show. Uh, as you can see, you will need to log into your Facebook and link your WhatsApp app to select a section over here to choose the WhatsApp number. So you have to fix that first. And over here, uh, you will need to select a list of recipients. So this will include anyone from the list that you have added in your contacts. So if you don't have anyone in your contacts, you're going to have the hard time. Of course, but anyway, let's uh, select that, just like that. And then over here, um, this should allow us to select all options. Uh, we should be able to save this. And anyway, over here on the message context or content, you will be able to start from scratch or you could use a template. So Meta will review new messages before you can send them. Because, of course, Facebook is from Meta. So, uh, we could click on Start Creating. And then we could choose our template over here. So, let's say Template 1 for now. We could select the marketing type. You have marketing. Or under the template type, you have marketing and utility over here. Utility is basically, you know, utility. And if you want to choose marketing for promotional communication, uh, choose utility for informational messages. So, it depends on 
the type of message that you want to send to your customers or your clients on WhatsApp. If you want to promote something, you would use marketing. If you want to inform them, of course, it's utility. You can select the language, of course, because, of course, not every a client speaks the same language. As you can see here, log in with Facebook to use this template in a campaign. So anyway, I uh, can click on start and you will be able to edit your content. As you can see, this is like the a preview of your WhatsApp. So you can simply enter your section over here, the information. I chose utilities, so it's basically for an informative section. So for example, here, join us now to get a 50% discount on all products within a limited time frame. So let's say this is a my message over here. You will be able to see here on the right side, of course, the appearance or like the preview of what it would look like if you send a message to a client. Like for example, the preview here is that I'm the client and this is what our message would look like to them. You can also add a header if you want. You can add a header here, for example, 50% off. Don't miss now. Something like that. Let's fix it. There we go. You can also add media if you want. You can add or drag a media over here. I have around the media I have over here, like for a dog. So I could add that as well. So you could either have a text as the header or an image as a header. As you can see here, I have a dog as a header over here. Although uh, that's not supposed to be the context. But anyway, you could have this one as text for now. You could also add other variables like uh, the last name of whoever you are texting or their email or their number and stuff like that. And you could save this. You could choose a variable if it is empty. So let's say hi. Let's just go with hi. But anyway, uh, it will mention their last name first. And then you could say uh, think about our uh, promo. Something like that. Then you could also add buttons if you want. Uh, like quick replies or call to actions over here. Uh, it all depends on you. But anyway, you could save this after adding all the information that you want. There's also settings over here. You could change the marketing template or the marketing type whenever you want. But anyway, we could save this template for us to use right now. So, I uh, have not been submitted, but we need to submit this for approval. And for us to have this as approval, we would need to connect our Facebook to or our WhatsApp and Facebook to Brevo. Now, you guys can complete that on your own. Of course, I can't show you guys that because I will be showing you some sensitive information. Because like what we saw earlier, you would need or it is required for you to connect your personal email and personal WhatsApp as well. But anyway, uh, the process will not be different as long as your WhatsApp is connected or your Facebook app is connected. Although the uh, process of creating is as smooth as just what we did right now. There's also automations over here that you can check out. Transaction auto, original, and other features of Revo that you could utilize. So that's basically it, guys. That is how you will be able to use Brevo with WhatsApp and create campaigns and send it to other people. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.